We're getting this rare look inside the Vanderbilt Pharmacy at the medicine considered life-saving for so many right now. It's an antifungal IV, the only hope those with fungal meningitis have. This waiting, this uncertainty is agonizing and uh, I'm sure extremely stressful. Doctors say the incubation period for fungal meningitis is one week to a month or longer. Do you have an estimate of how many people are still waiting? So in, in our state, um, we, we estimate there are about uh, 1,000 people uh, that we believe are at risk. In other words, they have received, uh, potentially received, some of the contaminated medication. With more than a thousand at risk, should doctors start them on this medicine preventatively? Can they call up and say, I got the injection and I want to get ahead of this? The antifungal medications that we have are very difficult to use. They're toxic drugs. While they're used to treat the infection, they can also damage the body, particularly the kidney and the liver. Just to say the CDC right now is not recommending prophylaxis and we are not recommending prophylaxis. Uh, we, it looks like from our analysis that if we identify symptoms early and, and get appropriate therapy started that the response is good. The problem is the fungal meningitis onset we've now learned is different from bacterial and viral meningitis. The latter two come on suddenly. Fungal meningitis eases on with less severe symptoms initially, which may go unnoticed. Also Monday, health officials revealed the CDC has discovered a second mold. In addition to aspergillus inside this tainted vial, the second mold is exorlahylum. Doctors are starting to study its role in the sickness. We are sailing an uncharted sea here.